And welcome to your Go Market update and charts of the day with Mike Smithson and Anderson Go Markets. It's Thursday, the 23rd of February, and delighted to see you here again for your daily meander around what's happening in financial markets today. So, if we look at what's coming across the news, there was a mixed session in the US overnight. All of the indices gave up their early gains after the FOMC minutes release. And of course, they pointed to continuing hawkishness from the Fed. The only index that closed in positive territory was the NASDAQ. And we are seeing some follow through in the NDX after NVIDIA reported earnings after the bell, which came in better than expected. So we're seeing US futures generally higher in Asian trading today. But Asian indices are following that weak US lead ASX down around 0.3% soon after open, with big miners dragging on the index. European equity futures are pointing to a cautious open. And the VIX is still trading over the key 20 level, uh, but did retrace a little bit overnight. The US dollar index closed high yesterday. It's still only just under the 200 MA. Gold closed below 1830 for the first time since December. And copper has paused at a three week high, just pulling back a little bit in the overnight session. Oil has looked weaker for really the last few days and is moving towards the bottom end of the range, getting closer to that 80 level on the Brent crude CFD contract. Bitcoin also pulled back to retest the 200 EMA, but is up this morning in Asia. And earnings season obviously continues in the US. We are really at the back end of it now. And the ASX, of course, has got another couple of weeks to run. On the data front, we've got Eurozone CPI, US weekly jobs and the preliminary GDP number, which is the most important of the three GDP numbers that are released. A month on month PC E numbers. Those are the highlights for today. Plenty for the markets to digest. Let's just have a look at a couple of charts that have caught our eye this morning. And the first one that's caught our eye is the Aussie Japanese yen. You can see there pull back again to remain in this range between the 200 MA and this 93 level. We like the fact this has bounced this morning and has made its way almost back up to 92. If it breaches 92, then essentially we've got a technical double bottom formed, as you can see here. And the potential to move up is obvious, possibly 33 pips in the first instance, but maybe all the way back up to 93 if we get some momentum. On the ASX, the lithium stocks of quarter eye again, there seems to be some buying coming into this. Uh, and you can see here, Pilba Minerals, ticket code PLS. After this five day straight of down moves, we are starting to recover. We had a good session a couple of days ago, a bit of a neutral session with the rest of the market looking a little cautious yesterday but we've got a continuation of that and this is the highest it's been for a week 440 looks like an important level here and a move above this could push it up to around the 480 level in the first instance and perhaps even up to five dollars which is obviously a pretty healthy return in the short term that's one to watch see how it closes towards the back end of the day but of course don't forget there is significant data out later so bear that in mind when looking at your overall exposure to the market today trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now